In Tunisia, where for now at least uncertainty seems to be the only certainty, a popular president continues to reassure the public, even as the political crisis deepens. Wow. On Friday evening, during a meeting with New York Times journalists who'd been detained briefly earlier in the week, Gai Syed promised to respect people's liberties. Despite the crisis that Tunisia is living, it still operates with freedom of expression and with human rights, built on the constitution. And if faced with some difficulties in some areas or with some administrations, then these aren't intentional obstacles. Still, when news broke earlier in the day that Yassin Ayari, a parliamentarian, influential blogger and fierce critic of the president, had been imprisoned, many worried a purge may have begun. According to Tunisia's military judges, though, Ayari was jailed in connection with a 2018 verdict issued against him for defaming the army. Hours later, another member of parliament, Mahir Tzid, was arrested. On Saturday, a video posted online showed him saying he had been liberated. But according to his lawyer, he was later taken away by security forces, and his whereabouts are unknown. The president has denied having anything to do with these arrests. Last week, when he suspended parliament for 30 days, he also lifted the immunity of its members, which means legislators with cases against them can now be arrested. In just a matter of days, the president has sacked the defense minister, acting justice minister and prime minister, who was also serving as acting interior minister. Only an interim interior minister has been named so far, leaving many to speculate when other appointments will be made. For the moment, Zayed's move to seize executive control appears to have gained widespread support in Tunisia, a fragile democracy whose population has grown fatigued by years of corruption, political deadlock and economic stagnation. This year, as COVID-19 cases surge, things have only worsened. The head of Tunisia's largest party in the governing coalition, Enakta, has called for talks and says it's ready for concessions within the framework of the constitution. We are going to try to use all peaceful means, dialogue, negotiation, street pressure, pressure from organizations, internal and external pressure, to bring back democracy. Our only goal today is the return of democracy to Tunisia. By and large, Tunisians hope a roadmap will be created to guide them out of the crisis. And while many politicians profess the same, it's not clear what that roadmap will include or when it might be complete. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.